this park in particular uh, is very historical. As a lot of you guys know, uh, Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address first here. Um, it's a dry run. He did about three, three dry runs for the Gettysburg Address, and this was the first dry run. So a lot of great speeches were given here. Uh, George Washington uh, passed by close to here uh, on one of his marches at some point, because he was known to move from, from different areas, uh, unlike other presidents of latter years. Also, uh, George Jefferson was uh, seen here on many occasions, um, you know, looking at thrift stores and things like that, and uh, before he moved up um, uh, to the east side. And um, also Wheezy uh, was seen here a lot, um, and Mushmouth uh, was also part of the gang. Fat Albert Gang was, this is the area that the Fat Albert Gang hung out in. Um, and yeah, it's the real version of it, but there were there were really people that were like that. They were based off of real characters that came from here in Queens and in, in Red Hook. Um, Red Hook is an interesting place. Just a few more things before I, before I get on to the, the program. Um, Red Hook is an interesting place because it is the easiest place uh, to get to uh, where, wherever you're from. It's it's strange. It takes literally about five or six minutes by, by, by any mode of transportation, which is weird, because usually subways sometimes are faster, you know, our buses are slower and cars are faster, whatever, helicopters. It literally takes exactly the same amount of time no matter which mode of transportation, even if you were walking. Um, and that's because there was a deal that was made with the Temple Time Travelers Commission, which slows down or speeds up any mode of travel to account for only five minutes lapsing from your decision to go to Red Hook to the arrival at your end point. So that's a really cool thing, and that's something you can thank the city government for in creating a, thank you, yes. And we need more cooperation with time travel associations, and uh, if you're from another place, you know, definitely inquire. Um, we know how effective it is to write letters uh, to the government, and um, how empowering it feels to lick that stamp and, and, and put it in the mail, and, and, and know that something's gonna happen. If the rabbit comes out of the hole, hit it. If a fox attacks you from a tree, don't do it. If a whale jumps out of the ocean, crushes your boat, and you drown to death. I'm sorry that happened to you. But this apology will never be received. Yeah, he's not gonna have any pity because there's no room for pity when you try. 